Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for December, I think it's the 17th, 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. I'm going to use my homemade cards. I haven't made any more and I haven't worked on any more. I actually started another project and now I'm stuck in that one. Um, definitely a creative block lately. Holy crap. Um, all right, so you had two shuffle songs today. Um, very, very different from each other. Um, both I found very deep. The first one, Black Sabbath, Children of the Sea. And that took me way back in time. Like, before time. To the sea people. To a shipwrecked, shipwrecked civilization. People without their home. People going to a new land. Um, this felt like it was the past to me, but it also um, feels a bit like now. Um, because they talk about technology surpassing... Um, I don't want to use the word allowable, but that's what just popped in my head. Allowable limits, going too far, um, like flying before we know how to walk kind of thing, like our abilities, our technology, we fly around, we blow up bombs, we do all this shit that um, we have no right to be doing. Like they're um, godly technologies, for lack of a better word. So, um, the second song was Sitting at the Dock of the Bay, Otis Redding cover, I can't remember the name, oh, wait, 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 what was his name? Black Pumas, by the Black Pumas, Sitting at the Dock of the Bay. So, after all of this doom and gloom in pe Children of the Sea, I was going to say People of the Sea, um, then you have Sitting at the Dock of the Bay, and... That also made me think of a time before time. Um, he mentions Georgia, which to me doesn't mean the state of Georgia. It means the mountain range, the um, Caucasus Mountains where <laughs> Caucasians live. Like if you're a Caucasian, or actually no, you're not Caucasian unless you live there. Like if you're white and... You live in North America, they call you Caucasian, but you're not. You don't live in the Caucasus Mountains. So there's some kind of link between Caucasians and the Caucasus Mountains, and that is Georgia. Um, you can look it up on the map. Um, all right, so I don't know why I'm saying all this. I'm just telling you my very, very, very deep thoughts. I feel like I've been channeling nonstop the last couple days, just download on top of download on top of download. And I don't know how to put it all into words, so just bear with me, okay? All right, so let's take a card. <laughs> all right, so there is a blank score, a blank score, message from spirit. You have a blank page. Hmm. Some reason this makes me think of whistling I think it's because of the second song there was whistling in it um, and I was thinking when he was whistling I was like language barrier like people having to whistle because they don't speak the same language or something like that I don't know um, I feel like I'm completely out of my league here inspiration Falling head over heels. Someone diving into the ocean, losing their head. Going all out. There's a pillar behind her. It, it feels like someone in high authority has gone too far. Someone is facing the music and losing their head. Ooh. So this feels like the elite, 
because of that pillar. Strength, fears, and feelings. I guess I should be showing you guys the cards. Strength, fears, and feelings. Something official, something dark, something, um, I don't know, the church, the government is going down. This is someone who is surviving. They're on the, they're on the non-burning side. Can you see that? There's somebody, um, these people, ooh, they're burning on the inside of, um, some structure that's coming down. I don't know if that's now or before. But someone's facing the music and someone's facing away. Former believers. In your intuition, <clears throat> um, it says law, but it also says free at the bottom. You can see. Um, in your intuition, you're trying to get free of this overbearing law, which feels like this structure, which feels like this pillar. It also feels like these are man's feet. This is a masculine that dove into, like he's hiding and he left a feminine here to take the fall because she's the one that's losing her head. It almost looks like he dove into this church structure, something with wrought iron fences around it. red sky she's looking up but the sky is red she's not finding what she wants up there intuition, wanting freedom from this oppress oppression, oppressive law, oppressive laws. Closure. You've got this guy running and there's this little thing here. It's like, um, like it looks, he looks like it looks very advanced for how he looks. Like this looks like it's prehistoric to me. And then there's this strange sphere. It could be like a comet. You know, it could be someone crash landing on earth because it, it kind of looks like Earth and another planet and somebody on the run. So maybe the sea people are from another planet. I don't know, maybe they're from Atlantis, maybe they're the Phoenicians, maybe they're the Egyptians. Um, the Shuffle Song, it just made me think of lost people landing on some shore. And the second song made me feel like somebody sitting on the shore, relaxed, while these people are coming in. And he's just whistling, wasting his time, nothing to worry about. That also makes me think, um, whatever is coming, whatever is going to make people want to run or, or feel scared or look up at something that's not there, when there's a structure falling When people are fighting for freedom from some kind of force making us run. Now where was I going with that? In the near
near future. Yeah, there's going to be a storm. There is. There's going to be a storm. <laughs> this is making me feel like Noah's Ark. Oh, my. All right. Um, at the base of this, there's a ship. There's a ship in the storm. She's looking up. It's not coming from there. It's in the water. It's in the emotions. I see the prize at the base of this. Could be to clear your head here. Actually, your heart. That's your heart space. Blank page. Blank musical score. You see the prize. Your intuition is saying freedom. Going right past this law, right to running from something. Wow, back to your roots. Dreadlocks, hair, one eye, third eye, left eye. Indigenous, running back to your indigenous roots from this oppressive state, religion, getting you to look up for a ship. Okay, I'm not saying anything about that. So you're seeing the prize, you're seeing nothing. It's almost like you don't want anything to do with what any of this wants you to think. This is you being you. It's also keeping these forces out of your heart, out of your heart space. You being you. And the outcome? Ancestors. Ancestral village. Ghost village. Oh, still one more. Your advice. Claim your crown. You are the prize. This also feels a little bit like um, that swirl makes me think of hypnotism and these purple, it feels like a maze. It's like a mind maze. Actually, you know what this feels like to me? It feels like fake history. It feels like this structure, this church, these laws, these rulers, this violence, this invading force. Um, it feels like they're all trying to get in you. Into your Aboriginal self. Because I think we're all, unless we're not from here, we're all Aboriginal. We're all Indigenous. If your origin is earth, this is you, seeing the prize, you. Um, there's this idea that I've been thinking about lately, um, how enemy sounds like inner me, and something I heard a couple of years ago about the toric field around our body um, essentially means that our, if you see this as the body, our inner is actually outer, like a donut. It's like a donut hole. So I feel like there's these forces around us. They want in to this inner space. This could also be looked at as the world. <clears throat> and inside the world is inner space. So they want 
the inner space of your body. Your, they want to in, inhabit your body. But they can't if you know who you are. I'm the prize. I wear a crown. She's got a royal glove on. She's, um, so this is a chosen one. They cannot be infiltrated by these outside forces, this government, church. Um, you've gone back to your roots. You've run back to your roots. You're, you're demanding freedom. She's looking away from this structure that's falling that like they basically they've destroyed themselves this this royalty government structure whatever the law whatever it is um I'm seeing this as everyone running back to their roots here everyone's running back to their roots away from these artificial structures that make you think that there's a ship in the sky that's going to come and get you. They might call that God. They might call that God. Um, but there is a ship or there is a storm. You might be the ship in the storm. I think that's what this is saying. That this is a mise, a, mise, um, a maze a maze in your head. There's false memories. I, th I feel like this is false history. It's like an endless rabbit hole. You can just keep on searching and searching and searching and researching and anything written is probably gonna be false. So this structure is going to be toppled. <laughs> Maybe they're getting on a ship in the sky. Maybe she's watching them fly away and she's celebrating freedom from this oppressive thing that we've been running from. Maybe they're going to run away. I see the prize. All right. <clears throat> I know I'm going way out there, you guys. I know, but I can't help it. All right. Let us see. Message from Spirit. The Ten of Cups in the Upright. Happiness. Completion. Ooh. Death in the reverse on that royal structure that is facing the music and running for cover only for that cover to come down too. And there's a survivor. So what they were trying to do is not gonna work. It's not working. It's not working. But I think there are still people that are looking for this ship in the sky Call it God, call it whatever you want. Um, I'm really starting to think that what, I don't know. I'm starting to think of God as an alien. And I'm starting to think of the devil as organic earth and the alien God as a narc that's been blaming the victim, the devil, all along. Don't shoot the messenger. But these are the things that are coming to my mind. Temperance in the reverse. Sickness. This really does feel like a church and it feels like it's, well, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not what they say they are. It's, it's, 
It's a bunch of people who took the wrong path. And they might go down with it. But there are some survivors. There are people that are leaving. They're, they're looking. They're realizing this looks dark. Strength in the upright. On freedom from the law. Moral convictions. Standing up for your moral convictions. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Ooh. Unprotected. Running from this family. This family. This royal family that are facing the music. It's like, get as far away from them as you can because they are not protected. It also means they have no defense. They're running. They're running to their roots too. <clears throat> King of Cups in the reverse. So it's someone very mean. Kicking the family out. I'm not protecting you anymore. If this is your head, you're like, you're dumping out everything you've ever been taught. The Knight of Coins in the reverse. All right, this ship is very slow. If it's coming at all. Because it's by the death in the reverse. This was like a sick trick, making everybody wait for this ship that was never coming or that doesn't exist. The Knight of Swords in the upright beside I see the prize. Knowledge. You know what's going on. Wisdom. You've done your research. Or you've listened to your intuition. Taking it seriously. You know who you are. These original people were your family. The Queen of Wands and the Upright on your origin. Excuse me. Queens. Warriors. moral and free of laws. Wow. The four of swords and the upright is your advice. Wow. Protect your energy. Meditate. Meditate on what you want. Meditate on your dreams. Do not go to this fear-based religious place where they tell you you're going to hell or heaven. Um, I don't want to put this out there. It's all a lie. And they are facing the music. And you need to stop looking for that ship in the sky and you need to take possession 
of yourself. You need to dump all this bullshit history. Wow, you need to clear your heart of everything about this royal family structure, government, whatever. They're, they're like walking dead. They have no head. They have no head. They hide behind their women. Ooh, and then they decapitate their women, which go to the history books. <clears throat> they're evil. They're evil. They're fucking evil. Um, you need to clear your mind of this programming, of this programming, of these laws, of this church. Dump this shit out of your head. Run back to your roots to when we were queens and kings and like all of us were. And we were strong and we knew who we were. Wow. Meditate on freedom. God, this is so deep. All right, bottom of the deck. The page of swords in the reverse. Oh, and this bottom of the deck. Make history. Record it. Recorded history. Okay, hold on. Making history. Hmm. Could be a really important phone call coming your way. Um, there's somebody here telling someone to shut up. Page of Swords in the reverse. Knight of or knight of coins in the reverse but this ship is not coming wait wait this is a ship in history that's not true a ship in history that's not true it could be the mothership the godship the just like what I was saying Mm. I don't know if I can upload this. I don't know, like, I don't want to piss people off. All right, let's start again. What time is it? I don't know, I can't see. So something historic is going to happen You have you don't see it coming on you don't see it coming. It could also be a ship coming very, very slowly. And I feel like these people are hiding from it. These government people are hiding from it. She's waiting for it. Someone's got to make the call. Someone's got to make the call, but nobody knows that they have to make the call. Um, it could be each of us individually have to make the call about what inhabits Earth and what inhabits our body because I think it's the same thing. Let me look at this from the body perspective. So in your heart space, you have a um, you have a blank score. You also have ten of cups in the upright, which is fulfillment and happiness. In your head space, you have a bunch of fake history that you're dumping out that you no longer trust. You no longer feel protected by this 
fake history, fake government, fake church, fake laws. <clears throat> Excuse me. That you no longer follow. You have your sword of freedom pointing right past it. Pointing right at, I'm out of this place. This person feels very happy in themselves, with nothing behind them. They've discarded all of these false constructs in our society. They're running back to their roots, to either to their queen or to their crown. All right. In your womb, you have getting your dreams, getting your wish. You know what you want. You know who you are. You know you're royal. You have a vision of the future. You make shit happen. Um, all you have to do is put your hand out and your dreams come true. Just put your hand out. Um, your advice is to be silent, meditative, download, you're seeing the prize, you're getting the knowledge, you're learning, you're learning. You're learning a new law. You are. You've turned your back on this violent, authoritative. This is a new authority and it's in you. This is your authority, your autonomy, your sovereignty. Um, I also feel like that first song, the um, Children of the Sea, it is these people. It's them. This law, this church, this government, and this education. That's what that is. The education system, they take you down a rabbit hole. They take you, something to do with Alice in Wonderland. I just keep seeing Alice in Wonderland. But you're dumping it out. You're dumping it out. It's like this is garbage. Going back to your roots. Definitely going back to your roots and to freedom, to queendom, or to your queen. Um, taking control of yourself as a sovereign person. I think that ship is waiting for your call to take up space within your own body or they will. Or they will. Wow, okay. Um, so this sick rain is over. They can't inhabit us anymore. They can't inhabit our heads. They can't inhabit our inner space, our inner me. It's like they understand us better than we do. And we had to get to this point literally running from them for our happiness, for our wholeness, for our holiness, holy, whole. No one else inside your energy programming your mind. Wow. All right, people. I hope that made sense to someone because this was... This was the hardest reading to, to do for me um, so far. <laughs> so yeah, you are the God you're waiting for. You make that call. Divine um, to me now means of the vine. I think we're out of time, so um, we'll talk about it next time. If anyone is uh, 
still watching me after this. All right. I love you guys. Bye.